Nathan Tomasello, propping for, what are you propping for? Fargo. Fargo, defending champion Fargo. Yep, 112 uh, pound last year. Uh, what will you be this year? 120. 120, are you cutting any weight to that? Yeah, about 8, 9 pounds. 8, 9 pounds, but not, nothing too bad? Nope. Yeah, I want to wanna keep getting stronger throughout the summer, and uh, hopefully it will be easy cut to make it down and be energized throughout the whole tournament. A lot of guys, when they win that once, they don't seem to, a lot of guys lose interest in going back. You're in between your junior and senior year. You haven't committed to a college yet. Why is it important to go back and win Fargo again? I feel like that's the toughest term in the nation right now. I mean, it's, I think, the biggest tournament uh, for cadets and for juniors. I mean, that's that's why I dream about the last couple of years, uh, especially when Eric brings up all the good, best guys like Jamie Clark and uh, Danny Mitchell, Steve Mitchell, all, all those guys went out there and did well. Okay, uh, you lost the Super 32 finals to, was it Brooks from Indiana? Yeah. And you beat him in the finals of Fargo last year. Yep. They put you first team over him on the A6. Second team last year, first team this year. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, it does. I mean, I would like to have another rematch with him. I thought I didn't wrestle as well as I should have in the Super 32 finals, and uh, I really have worked hard since that, and I feel like I've gotten much better since that moment. Uh, looking at you, you're probably one of the more focused kids. Uh, I know Cam Tassari was talking about you this week, and he said you're the hardest drilling high school kid he's ever seen. And, you know, these teammates with Hunter, Logan, you know, some other guys at Ohio State that are studs. But coming from a guy like that, you know, hearing you're the hardest worker he's ever seen, is that a compliment? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Cam Desari, probably one of the best guys right now in the nation at his weight. So it's definitely a big compliment. He's really a good friend. All right, when you uh, look at your college choices, I know you're, I'm looking at a, a Finger Lakes Wrestling Club shirt, which is Cornell. Um, Ohio State's another one I keep hearing, but what are the choices right now? What do you, what do you got to narrow down to, Nathan? Uh, I, I'm keeping my options open, but right now I, I uh, have it as Ohio State, Michigan, uh, Cornell. I like Purdue a lot, uh, Oklahoma State. And uh, maybe another like Illinois or something like that. Like I said, right now I just want to keep my options open and uh, take some some visits around the around the schools I'd like to go to. So those schools, will, have you visited any of them yet? Yeah, yeah, I visited everyone uh, except for Purdue. And uh, Illinois haven't, but Penn State I have too. I also like them a lot. Okay, uh, Coach Lawrence just stepped down as head coach at CVCA. Um, do you know who's going to replace him? Not sure yet. Um, coach Sharva, one of the assistant coaches, wants to, but I'm not sure if he's going to get it. I hope uh, they get someone in good, which I know Steve Say will. So I'm looking forward to whoever it's going to be. I know Don Lawrence took another step into what he wants to do and what he feels best for himself. He said he's still going to help out, but I feel like that, that was uh, the right decision on his part. Um, Dolph moved away. You used to train with Coach Dolph, right? Yeah. Well, now what do you do? Is it all with Burnett and Lawrence? Uh, yeah, Burnett, Lawrence, and some, some with Coach Hewitt. And then uh, sometimes I go up to Ignatius, drill with Georgie, and uh, some with Coach Hada. And here and there I'd like to go with uh, Brian Dolph. Uh, if he can come up, he's, he's, he's come into Burnett's a couple times, and uh, I've talked to him a lot on the phone. All right. Uh, what do you guys got to do, CVCA? What, what do you got to do to get your team? You guys are in Division Two again next year. Yeah. You're going for a fourth title. What do you guys got to do to get the runner-up as a team and for you to win a fourth title? Um, train hard. I mean, we got to push each other in the room the whole uh, during the season. And, uh, I mean, the big thing is to relax and then peak through the, throughout the whole season, keep climbing up that mound and be ready for that state tournament. I mean, that's, that's the key for me. The Iron Man's going to be another really big tournament that helped me get prepared for states, but just go out, be relaxed, and wrestle my match. Um, what's it going to mean to try and you know join the elite group of, of four-time state champions in Ohio? It would mean a lot. I mean, those are the guys that you look up to. That uh, Those are the guys that have helped me out. Some of the guys have helped me out throughout my, throughout my career, and those are the guys that uh, I always will look, look up to, even if I make four time. So. All right. Nathan, you got anything else for me? Nope. All right, keep training hard. Like having you guys out here Thank you. banging. You're always getting after it with these guys. And uh, good luck in Fargo. Thank you.